Now, she's managed to avoid much of the turmoil that's affected her mother, Judy Garland, and her sister, Liza Minnelli, but she's still had her fair share of heartache. Oh, no, it's just the nearness of you. Singer and actress Lorna Luft is talking with Kate Sanderson this morning. Lorna, welcome back. Now, you've talked about how your, your mother... Um, showed you a sense of family and did the best to be the best parent she could be. Mm. You have your own kids now. I do. And you've said that um, having kids was one of the greatest creative experiences mm. of your life. Is That's that right? It. It's the hardest, hardest and most rewarding job you will ever have is to be a parent. It's not easy to raise children because you have to be everything today. You have to be the FBI, you have to be, <laughs> you have to be an investigator, you have to be a teacher, you have to be all of these things because there's so much out there for children today. What kind of things have you said I'm taken on from your own childhood and what things have you sort of left to one side and said I'm not going to do that? I think what I've taken on is making sure that my children know that they're loved mm -hmm. all right? and, and that they are the, the most special people in the world, all right, and that they're, they're beautiful and they're bright and that they're smart and that they're funny, and they are. And, and that's what I want them to know. Um, what I haven't taken on is the chaotic lifestyle I led. I don't, I, when they were little, I didn't take them out on the road. You had to deal with the death of your mother at quite an early age, at 16. How did you cope with that? Yeah, it, it, it was devastating, but I think when you lose a parent at any age, it's hard. The most devastating part was the fact that she was so famous and mm. it, just this mass amount of, of grief and having to feel that I had to share her. In your show, you talk about um, shortly after your mother dying when you were 16, that a couple of days later, you saw this star in the sky and that this said something to you um, that you saw it in terms of being your mother it was a few nights after my mom's um, funeral and after I got all these we we all got these telegrams from hundreds of thousands of people one of them I had read was from Frank Sinatra and it said there's a new star in the heavens tonight so I went out in the backyard and it was the evening star which is the only first star that comes out and I thought to myself yeah there is a new star, and she'll always be there. So, you've described your mother as your guardian angel. Mm. What do you mean by that? I was sitting in this restaurant, and one of my best friends, we were together, and it happened. They put the jukebox on, and they started to play either, it was either Man That Got Away or Over the Rainbow. And, and I went, oh, like this, and he said, gee, it must be like having a guardian angel. And we, my children, things like that have happened. Well, we've all been together, and all of a sudden, out of the strangest things, something will start playing. It'll be the radio or something. We all go, okay, she's around. All right, good. Okay, right. And we just sort of all accept it. So does that mean you actually sort of, is, is that a, do you believe in angels then? Is that something that you think is something? I would, I, I'm, I'm not going to say that I don't believe in angels, mm -hmm. but I'm going to say that if you want to believe in angels, I think that's a really good thing. Do you think there is a God out there? Or no, do you think there's... I think God is what you make it. Mm. All right, God is in everything. It, it must be a really strange experience when you're performing um, your mother's songs. And in the show, you carry out duets with your mother yeah. live on stage with the film footage. Yeah. Um, does it not feel that she's kind of there in a strange kind of way as well? Though? It might feel that way to you. It did to me. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. Well, that's good. Um, it's a great feeling for me because I know people who only have a still photograph mm. of someone they've lost. Look what I mean, I've got this wealth of, of material, of movies and television shows and recordings and all of mm -hmm. that. I'm very lucky, but it took me a long time to think that, because it's painful. Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Zing, zing, zing went my heart strings. From the moment I saw him, I fell. Do you think that um, you've got over the death of your mother? No, you never do. You just live with it. You do. I've always said to people who have lost 
a husband, a wife, a brother, a sister, whatever, that it never gets better. It yeah. just gets different. You, you said that um, you believe in miracles. Yeah. My wife's seen miracles. What have you seen? Do you think a you baby have... being born, that's a miracle. That's amazing. That was, I mean, that was really incredible. When you really watch how we can do that, that's extraordinary. So you've had two miracles already. I have. <laughs> I okay. have. Long may they continue to bless you and oh, uh, good luck with you. the rest of the show. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks. I bet nobody knows what a king of the